this is gonna be a very quick video I'm about to make some steak and I decided to make a video of it so for the very best tasting steak ever you will need the steak of course and here I have some filet mignon that I have already seasoned I used some black pepper and salt um, for the salt you want to use a little bit uh, more than you normally do because the slices are pretty thick and then here we have some fresh garlic that I've smashed a little bit some fresh thyme and some fresh rosemary all from my garden I'm super proud <laughs> and a little bit of oil you know some people use butter but with all the fat that we have in the meat and with the oil I don't think there I need butter it is still yummy without the butter so let's get cooking okay so first thing first you want the pan to be super hot like if you can put your hand here for too long it's not hot enough <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of oil, not too much. And you want the oil to get super hot. You know? Some people love to use oil and butter. I use just oil. Let's get started. That noise, you need to hear that noise. Whenever I make steak, I always post it on Instagram, and people always ask me how I make it, you know? So I'm like, yeah, today, let me just show them how I make it. Also yesterday, I ate some steak at a French restaurant, Mon Ami Gabi. It was so tasteless, so tasteless. So every now and then, you want to be turning it around. And I like my steak medium well. Like I like a little bit of pink. Not too much blood coming out, just a little bit of thing. And while it is cooking, I like to add just a little bit more salt and pepper. Not that you have to, but just how I like it. So we're going to turn it around once again. So I'm going to go around and turn it one more time. And uh, you know, you can see here, like you can see how far it has cooked. You know, that's how you know if it's cooked enough for your liking or not right now there's too much thing for me so i'm just gonna cook keep cooking a little bit longer So now I'm gonna set my stove a little bit under. It's pretty high. And I'm gonna keep on letting it cook. It's kinda getting close to where I like it. But I can tell that it is still very, very pink inside. Like, I like pink, no love. 
so now um it's close to my liking so this is the secret the most important part of making some delicious steak okay right here i'm gonna add the rosemary fresh rosemary is the best choice and sometimes the thyme can be dry it's fine dry thyme fresh thyme kind of tastes the same but when it comes to the rosemary fresh one tastes way better not to forget garlic your fresh garlic and i'm not talking about powdered garlic fresh garlic this is actually the secret to the best tasting And I swear, this is this is it. Rosemary, thyme, garlic. This will make your steak go to the next level. And the sad thing is, I go to restaurants a lot, and no matter how expensive the steaks are, they are never tasty. Like they are always tasteless to me. Oh yeah, and uh, make sure that you add them when your meat is almost to your liking because they burn really fast. You see, right? They burn super fast. And right now, I think it's good enough for me. Though. That's it, you know? That's it. And I love to serve this with veggies, um, some sauteed onion with mushroom is my preference. But today I'm gonna eat them with salad, so you're not gonna see me making those. Okay. It's juicy too. Can you tell? See? It's not dry. It's juicy. And this is how I love it. Not dry, juicy and tasty, tasteful. Bon appetit!